Think you the shit, bitch? You're, you're not, not even the fart. <laughs> Welcome back to the beautiful <laughs> Twin Sisters podcast. Today we're, we're going to be talking about, about twin telepathy. Oh, my beautiful twin sisters. Sisters. My name's Ashley. My name's Amber. And, and we're, we're twin. twin them. We have Ice Spice <laughs> shirts on. Today we're wearing our tw- uh, Ice Spice shirts. We got these at Urban Outfitters. Yeah. They're awesome. Amber says, keep it a stack. Wait, let me show them. Yeah. I'm standing up to show you guys. I don't even know. Yeah. And today, since we're talking about twin telepathy, we actually decided to wear different color t-shirts to differentiate each other. So that just makes it a little bit easier on you guys if you're watching the... Video, video podcast so i have on a white ice spice t-shirt amber has on a black one and we're keeping it a stack keep it a that's stack. it i'm keeping it a fart <laughs> <laughs> we have a new setup i don't know if you guys can tell uh, we have a little mini heated japanese table on top of our couch right now it's like our desk Should yeah we, like sit in front of it we we just sat up here so you guys yeah. can see our shirts but but this is the new setup it's on the literal couch right now rather than like in front of us so it's a little different well, let us know if you like it. It's kind of like business vibes. Like yeah. we're working at the table. We're having a meeting. Business. Think you're the shit, bitch. bitch. You're, you're not, not even, even the, the fart. fart. Uh, yeah, let's talk about our revenue streams. Uh, Maximizing. What's uh, optimizing? optimizing. <laughs> Minimizing. Minimizing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just trying to see if you would guess what I would say. I did. I, that, that was crazy. Well, I got it. Okay, That's well, crazy, we bro. also have today... Hojicha in front of us rather than uh, matcha. Hojicha is just like roasted matcha to put in more simple terms. And we have it because it's less caffeinated. And so let's mix this up. Yeah. <laughs> this is not chocolate milk or coffee. It's That's hojicha. That's false news. It's hojicha. Cheers. Cheers. No way you just cheers me using the handle <laughs> of the mug. <laughs> She literally just used the handle of the mug and, like, rammed it into my cup. I spilled it all over myself. Now there's, like, poop smears all over the table. Oh, it's yummy. It's yummy. Though. Yeah. Uh, it's nighttime right now. It's, like, 11 p.m. We're so sleepy deepy. We've had a long day. We did the most. I kept it a fart all day long. <laughs> We woke up in a, like, panic to post our videos together, and then we uh, had to meet up with our friends, and then we were running all over. Now we're filming a freaking podcast. It's been a busy day. Yeah. But we're keeping the energy high, so we're really excited for today's podcast. We have a really epic topic, and we always keep keep it a stack. stack. There you go. Yeah. But today we actually multiple times said things at the same time already, and that's what made us think... We've got to talk, talk about telepathy. Yeah. Yeah. Because we actually have crazy twin telepathy. Like, our whole lives, especially, like, as we've become, like, older. Like, once we were, like, 16, it was, like, everything we said was the exact same. Yeah. Our voices are the same. Good luck to you guys in the audio, <laughs> as audio listeners. Like, can I even How tell the difference? Like, discerning who's who? Yep. But it goes further than just talking, and it's that's like, what we're going to get into because... It gets into some weird stuff. It's more than this. Yeah. Also, sorry if we both look greasy right now. Yeah, we're just we're, like on greasy vibes, so it's so okay. Greasy vibes. Should we do a little rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to sit on their good side? You're so right. Yeah. If you guys don't know, the winner of rock, paper, scissors gets to sit on the left side where I'm sitting right now because it's both of our good sides. Mm-hmm. Let's freaking go. Ready? Okay. I'm scared. One. Rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Two, <laughs> one. <laughs> one, two, three. I'm dead. Okay. Okay. I did paper, bro. I and won. I did rock, so I lost, yes. but it's whatever. I'm winning again. Hashtag BTSP or or fart. Maybe like a couple years back, I was editing a video and I was just like, I hate fart jokes. They're so immature. Like, I just huh? don't like when they're in videos. And then you told me like... No, I love them. They're always so funny. And then ever since then, I kind of was like, wait, sometimes they are kind of funny. Yeah. No, it's actually so awkward. Like, 
I don't know why at college there were multiple moments where I was like with people I didn't know that well and someone would like make a fart joke for some reason and I would like cry <laughs> laughing and it's like I'm like usually pretty like shy around like new people and then they say a fart joke and I'm like suddenly crying and they're like wait why did you, you say a fart joke like they would just make a fart noise or like what's a fart joke I think like that or like someone like burp <laughs> I'd be like why is that so funny and it's like so awkward so I'm like really laughing at them oh or if there's like ever a moment where someone accidentally farts in front of me, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like that's the you funniest. Have to, like, burst thing out ever. laughing. Yeah, that's yeah. the hardest laugh like, to conceal is when someone <laughs> farts and you don't want to laugh. Here's the story. I'm gonna tell it pretty vaguely because I don't want the person who farted to feel sad that I know. Um, so the story is that I was sleeping on a couch in a living room. And, like, it was, like, 1.30 a.m. Like, I probably should have been asleep or whatever. So I'm laying on the couch. And I didn't tell anyone I was sleeping on the couch. I was just, like, secretly, like, oh, I'm going to sleep on the couch tonight. Didn't tell anybody, which is kind of weird of me. So in the middle of the night, somebody, like, walks through the living room. And I'm, like, still on my phone. And I'm, like, oh, should I, like, wave or should I, like, pretend I'm asleep? And while I'm about to wave at this person, they just start farting and, like, walking through the living room, like, farting with each step. And I was, like, <gasps> No, and I had to like pretend to be asleep and be like, mm, like not laugh, and it was so funny. Um, yeah, so that was my recent story where that happened. I don't know why that always happens to me. People are always farting in front of me, and I that was the craziest situation ever though, because I was like, no way, no way that just happened. And what does this have to do with twin telepathy? <laughs> okay, I don't know. This is the fart pod now. Anyways, <laughs> let's actually get into the twin stuff because this is getting a little bit too weird. Yeah. Also, that's crazy that you already finished your drink. It's been like five minutes. Because it's delicious. Sorry. Um, anyways. Uh, for, so the main thing with twin telepathy, I will say I think the funniest thing that happens and like the most common is when we're like checking out at a place... A cashier, I just burped. I'm so sorry. Whoa, I'm really doing that. Ha, ha, ha. That was so funny. <laughs> that was funny, bro. Okay. Anyways, um, we'll be, like, checking out at, like, the grocery store. And the cashiers are always asking the same questions. They're like, do you want a receipt? Do you want a bag? And we have the same response and, like, intonation with what we say. And we always say it the exact same way. And then the cashier's like, what the hell? Like, okay. With the timing down to a T where... Sometimes, unless you saw both of our mouths move, you would not know that the both of us it. talked at the same time. And only sometimes we'll be the only ones that know because I can tell like there's a little more like sound coming yeah. out than just my own voice. But like most of the time, it comes out sounding like one voice. So the cashier won't even notice. They'll just be like, oh, mm -hmm. I got one answer. But it's like, no, we literally said it so exactly the same that like yeah. it sounds like one person. But like if we were checking out... And the cashier asked, okay, we're going to do a little, like, uh, cosplaying of a, okay. what would happen. So, for example, if I'm the cashier, I would say, okay, so do you want your seat for today? Um, um no, no thanks. thanks. <gasps> and that's how we always answer. And then they're like, do you want a bag? Uh, uh no, no thanks. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's always just, uh, no thanks. Yeah. But it, it could be any phrase. For real, it could be yeah. any singular phrase. Uh, I'm good. Or, yeah. thanks so much. Any of those always exactly the same yeah i don't know how because like i'm good and no thanks are like almost the same thing and we always pick the same phrase yeah it's so weird and it's funny too because sometimes we'll we'll say something we'll be like um no thanks oh look at each other exactly the same time huh, laugh exactly yeah. the same and then that freaks out the cashier because one time i remember at a gas station and when it really the cashier like pointed it out is because we did that looked at each other, laughed, and then said more words completely in unison. Yeah. It was, like, the weirdest, like, actually the most, like, uncanny valley. Like, are <laughs> we even human? Like, yeah. it was so weird. Ugh. And the poor girl working was, like, I think she was, like, actually scared. Like, jaw dropped was, like, and, like, it seemed like we were coming from, like, we were robots. aliens. Like, it was so fucked up. I have a couple words that we always say the same. First one is, mm, no thanks. One, two, three. Mm, mm, no thanks. thanks already demonstrated that in yep. the thing but there you go then we have hi mm -hmm. i see one that. two three hi that was gross <laughs> that was actually gross <laughs> that's like sound like barbie or something hi hi okay and then we have oh no okay okay one two three <laughs> oh, oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that one's the funniest one ever that is so funny uh, this is like we got to call it back to our cousins because this is where it stemmed from again. Yeah. Family inside joke. Family inside crazy. joke. We're just going to reveal them to all of you. But the reason why I say, oh, no, like, 
oh no it kind of sounds like you say it and you don't really care yeah like oh no and it's because our little cousin kai one time we're leaving from pittsburgh uh-huh. he's like so little at this time he's probably like seven or something yeah. right and we're leaving from pittsburgh and we're all like trying to say bye to him like give our hugs bye we're yeah. gonna leave and not see them for like another eight months or something and <laughs> he's in the middle of playing roblox like isn't he on his he's like on his ipad yeah he's on his ipad playing roblox and amber's like kai we're leaving and he just goes oh no <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny like he did not give a fuck yeah, he, he's like literally he's, his eyes are still moving his hands are still moving like, like eyes locked on the ipad like not looking at me <laughs> he goes oh no and i'm like what and also the funniest part is it's in my vlog because i'm like i did like a visiting the cousins vlog i think it's like it's called like epic summer vlog with the cousins or something mm-hmm. and you'll see kai literally do it in the video and it's so funny whoa okay we gotta it's find on that camera I didn't know it was on camera. Yeah, because oh I'm like no. filming him. I'm like, Kai, we're leaving. He goes, oh no. <laughs> it's so funny. And Kai, we're leaving today. Oh no. So we always say that. We're just like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> funniest. <laughs> it's like, because it's like a simple phrase where it has so much backstory yeah. for us. Ugh. And it's just like something so bad happens. Oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kai with those good ass jokes. Kai, our little cousin Kai, provides us with, like, literally every phrase we say. Yeah. It's nuts. Also, on the topic of twin telepathy, once again, I think, like, what's weird about us is our conversations, when it's just the two of us, can literally function with, like, no words. Like, minimal words. We don't even finish the sentences. It literally sounds like, yeah, yeah, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then <laughs> like, no, and then, and then, yeah, and then, and then, and then. And we're like literally just stuttering to each other back and forth, but we somehow know like the point that we're trying to get across. Yeah. So that's what we were so nervous about when starting the podcast is we were like, we're going to have to like say a full sentence. Like we have to be able to speak, even though it's just the two of us, it's like everybody yeah. else needs to understand what we're saying. Yeah. But usually we're just like, and and then, yeah, and, 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 yeah, yeah, and, and so, ugh. Yeah. That's Kelly nice. always says when he is here, because he obviously like comes down and hangs out with us a lot. Mm-hmm. He always is like, you guys, your guys' language is so interesting. And he'll refer to us talking as a different language. Yeah. <laughs> so Because we, we definitely just, like, we, we talk with a lot of inside jokes. We don't really, like, finish a lot of the things we say. I feel like a lot of times we can even just, like, look at each other and, like, know what each other are thinking or, like, you know yeah. what I mean? So. Like, oh, my God. I don't even, I can't even explain it. But we talk to each other in a way that's, like, so... Like, I don't even, like, pay attention to, like, what I'm saying or, like, you or anything. I'm just, like, uh, 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 and, like, somehow we both get it. Yeah. Anyways, that kind of makes no sense, but... I think it makes a little bit of sense. I don't know. You guys can probably tell from listening to this that we're, like, we are weird with our talking. We say things weird. We're always stuttering and... Yeah. Being we're crazy. We're struggling with our lisps, so... But we're trying Lisp. our best. My New Year's resolution is to... Uh, pronunciate yeah, <laughs> my words good. better. It's crazy though. All three of us siblings talk the exact same like weird way. Even no, Andrew doesn't. You think Andrew, Andrew does? Andrew doesn't I think talk he weird does. at all to me. The difference is that he's a boy, so his voice sounds different. But we all have like the same like weird fr- like tendencies with talking. Okay, sorry. I just had to let in my boyfriend. He has really bad food poisoning, so he went straight to bed. Yeah, he's in Ashley's room right now, probably like dead yeah today kelly had to go be on like a video set for one of his friends that he's helping film with and he is playing a very big character i guess in the video yeah and so he had to wake up really early go really far to new jersey like one and a half hours away it's like 200 dollars uber oh my god mm-hmm. so he wakes up this morning at 7 30 takes the uber down to wherever it is in new jersey and he texts me at like maybe 9 30 and he's like just got out of the Uber and like immediately just, uh, I want to give a trigger for anyone that's like afraid of talking about <laughs> vomiting because that's like all we're going to talk about for like the next probably like 25 minutes, I yeah. feel like, because we have more stories, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so just a heads up. But so he gets out of the car and just like vomits. Immediately. Immediately. And then he was like, I was also shitting everywhere. <laughs> yeah. 
just diarrheaing everywhere. Um, but he had to work like a 12 hour day. Yeah. Being the main person, like one of the main people in this video. Like in a video to, where you have to be bubbly and energetic. happy, energetic. And he said he just took like 20 naps. Like anytime he got a break on the set, like just took a nap, just went to sleep. And people were like, do you have like an issue, like a sleeping issue? And I feel so bad because he's always is like so high energy and always so good. And of course today when he like really needs to do something, he gets hit with. That actually sucks something so bad. Something like that. Yeah. I could not imagine having to be in front of a camera like working for like someone else because he's like doing it for someone else's video Mm -hmm. and like oh my god the pain like yeah oh my god it's so gross yeah food poisoning is the worst is it food poisoning though because he doesn't even know know. what he ate like what happened yeah i don't know if it's food poisoning or it could be norovirus which is like going around which kind of just like makes you like throw up and poop everywhere literally that's gross and i got that last year and that was the worst sickness I've ever had in my life. I actually felt like I was on the brink of death. I was questioning, what does it feel like to be normal? Will I ever feel normal again? Like, how can I ever escape this pain? The pain is never ending. Yeah. Like literally like going in and out of like consciousness. I swear I was so nauseous and just like laying on the couch and dying pretty much. Believe and, it or not, yeah. this actually brings us back to our point of twin telepathy. It does. Where Ashley and I, no matter how far apart we are in the world, we get the same exact illness on the same exact day and it's crazy. Together. Yeah. So when Ashley had that illness where she was like throwing up and dying, I was the exact day before got food poisoning from eating poke that was left sitting in a hot car for three hours. I don't know why. It's I thought like it was literally your decision. <laughs> I know. I literally <laughs> chose to eat it because I'm so stupid. I Okay. We were, I was vegan for a long time and I'm suddenly not anymore. So I don't know how like fish works. And so my boyfriend told me like, oh yeah, in Hawaii, they like marinate the poke and soy sauce and whatever to help preserve it. And so I'm like, and you okay. thought it was preserved. I was like, yeah, okay, the poke is preserved in the car for three hours. Let Dude. me eat it. And so I ate like hot poke that had been steaming in a car. And the next morning, I woke up. Oh my god, I cannot even tell you. Like, you wake up and you're like, <gasps> I literally, I don't even remember that day. Like, it was a the biggest nightmare of my life. I was not. Thankfully, I was not shitting at all. I was only oh. throwing up though, which was crazy. So for 24 hours straight. I was throwing up like once every four hours. And as soon as I threw up, I felt really for like two minutes and then immediately felt like I was in like- You felt what for two minutes? Relief. Oh, relief. For like two minutes after I threw up and then immediately felt like I was dying again. So the whole day was like me sleepwalking and like I couldn't even like breathe or eat and it was crazy. And I'm texting Ashley like I feel like I'm dying. Like I literally- feel like this is the worst pain of my life i can't imagine not feeling like yeah. this whatever and you're like oh no I'm that's like, crazy oh, that sucks. and then you wake up the next morning and you text me like i somehow have the same illness or like whatever yeah. happened like and it's, it's not even like because you said that that i'm like oh no i like i feel sick now like that was the most sick i've ever felt in my whole life yeah and like i like there's just no way but and i remember somehow. waking up yeah you wake up you feel so nauseous and then i literally was like having cold sweats. So I went like, it was to the point where I went to my bathroom, put my, like my pillow and my blankets down next to the toilet. Cause I was so tired and just like laid there and slept on the floor and would like wake up and puke if I had to. And I was so unwell. I like, I felt like I should be hospitalized. Yeah. And I, I was like, ah, like, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm too late. I'm I was like tired. feeling the worst I ever have. I thought I was going to die. And I just, I could I don't it. know. I don't know. It was like too, you're too like exhausted to even like think about going to the hospital. Cause also like, like I, I like knew it's just like food poisoning probably. I would yeah. go to the hospital if I was like bleed, like if I like puked blood or something. Ew. But if it's just like, food, I'm like, it'll be fine. But it was the worst I've ever felt in my entire life. Yeah. Um, and I like teleported it to your body from California. I was in California at college and you were in New York City. Yeah, and I was so in we New York were City. Nowhere near each other, not eating the same food at all. Mm-hmm. But I gave you food poisoning from yeah. across the country and it was lit. Mm-hmm. And all my roommates in the old house like remember that day because I sat in the living room like trying to like kind of get more fresh air and feel like better. Mm-hmm. And I was just so out of dead. it i was yeah. so out of it people would come in and out and i'd be just on the couch and i'd like spook them or and then Ugh. kelly was trying so hard to be so nice to me which is so kind of him and he was like 
made me avocado toast but I feel like I was so like getting nauseous from anything that like the avocado toast I think he put sriracha on it and I was literally like gagging <laughs> and then he played he was like let's play some tv so I'm like okay he plays spongebob which is like okay and then he plays adventure time and he just played a video it was like the episode where Finn gets locked in a time loop that's inescapable oh and the God. episode's like half an hour long or however long it is maybe 40 minutes and like I swear he like never even gets out of it or maybe I turned it off by then or something but I watched it for pretty much the full episode and he's just in a loop oh I already did this before uh, try again good night wake up oh I already did this like over and over and over and over it while wow, I was so nauseous and it was so we laugh about it all the time because I'm like that was just so crazy that's cr- nuts that's yeah. like a punishment like, like to, punished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's like, let me help you feel yeah. better. And he's like, puts a punishment on so the TV. It's so funny though. But yeah, it was crazy. That's horrible. My roommates also remember when I got sick because I was like literally feral. Like I would like, I would just sit on the couch and like moan and yeah. be like, a, uh. Yeah. And it was like weird because I'm like with my college roommates and we're all like usually normal together. And then suddenly they see me in my like most feral state where I like stumble outside and just like puke Curl. straight forward in the That's backyard so gross, and then what was also like really crazy about that day was for some reason my roommates decided to have like friends over but it was people they never met so they're like i'm having my new friend come over and i'm like guys and i like had to text him and be like guys like by the way like i'm like really throwing up like loudly in the bathroom like every <laughs> couple of hours like i feel like you're gonna hear me throw up and in my head i'm not trying to be like don't have your friends over but i'm also like I don't want people to hear me throw up. Like, this is, like, I'm throwing up so loud you would not even believe. It was, like, guttural. And they're like, no, 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 Amber, it's fine. Just, like, if you need to throw up, like, nobody really cares. Like, it'll be okay. And I'm like, guys, (laughs) have you heard what I sound like all day? Like sounds like like a moose is, like, getting eaten by a bear. (laughs) It was literally, like, the most, like, animal-sounding, like, thing ever. And I was like, are you, like, are you serious? Okay, like, have your new friend over. And it was someone that, like, I had to meet. For context, it was, like, because we went to film school. It was, like, the actress for our, like, next big project. And I had to work with her, too. And I'm like, guys, I'm, she's going to know it's, like, me throwing up at some point. Because I'm, like, a person working on this and whatever and so they're like no no it's fine it's fine and then they all like sit in the living room and i'm like okay i gotta fucking throw up <laughs> and so i like stumble to the bathroom and i puke so loud and i hear their conversation just like stop and i'm like that, yeah you guys told me to throw up and then the next morning i like start to feel better and i'm like so uh like how did it go with like the actress girl like did you hear me throw up and you're like um yeah and I was like, yeah, I told you I was going to throw up on like, No, yeah, we thought, like, you would just, like, throw up normally. And then you <laughs> actually threw up, like, so loud. It was really, like, scary. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so I was kind of pissed because, like, I literally did not want anyone to hear that. Yeah. And then everybody heard it. Anyways, that was my long story about me throwing up so loud. But That's it was crazy. epic. And I'm glad that at least... Because the craziest part about being sick like that was for that one day, I was like, I literally feel like I'm not even human. Like, nobody else in the world understands how I feel right now. So as fucked up as it is, at least Ashley could understand how I felt and, like, text me back and be like, I feel like I'm dying. The next day, I was like, wow. Like, I suddenly understand. I understand exactly what you mean. But, like, why did we have to do this? (laughs) So crazy. I'm like, why did you have to get sick? So then I got sick. I know. (laughs) But it's fine. And I know it wasn't. I'm pretty positive at least it wasn't food poisoning for me because you didn't eat anything. I don't really eat it. Like I don't eat meat, so I wouldn't eat anything like that that would go bad. Of course, I guess you could get it from other things, but I just feel like it's less likely. Mm-hmm. And then I went to my Pilates class the next week, like once I was feeling better. And a girl I over here talking, she's like, I got so sick last week. I was vomiting everywhere. I think it was the norovirus. Like, I don't know what happened, but I think it's, like, going around the studio. And then, like, they're all talking. They're like, oh, I think, like, a lot of people that, like, have been going here, like, have gotten it. And I think I just got it from one of my workout classes, which That's sucks. So but I remember, like, some of my friends that worked around New York were like, oh, my God, everyone in my office got That's the so norovirus. Gross. Like, so bad. I would, I'm, my, like, biggest pe- peeve is when I get sick and then, like, as soon as I feel better, someone's like, Oh, yeah, I think, like, I might have given that to you. I'm like, <laughs> literally, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Like, I cannot believe you did this to me. So that was one instance where we had, like, a crazy, like, coincidental illness at the same time. Mm-hmm. But we also sometimes, like, our periods sync up, which I think isn't, like, that unexpected. It's, like normal. It's normal. Yeah. 
But then there was like one time or a couple times actually where randomly we'll get a period that is so like painful and insane like literally insane that we like throw up like it's happened at least twice because yeah. how does that even happen and that's or, rare like i would it never, never happen like at least anymore i feel like it hasn't happened in a long time but there yeah. was there was a couple there like a, a period two when months it happened yeah because i've only thrown up for my period twice in my life and it was like the same two times that you threw up yeah and it was just so weird and we have a crazy story where um like during COVID, we did like Twitch streams, and oh, we yeah. did like a Twitch stream in the morning where like Ashley was baking bread and whatever. And I'm like in the Twitch stream in the background, like I'm like so out of it because I'm like getting my period and like I feel oh. like I'm dying. I'm like, mm, yeah, like okay, whatever. And I'm going along with it. And then we end the live stream because we're like, okay, we're gonna go take some Instagram pictures at like this cute place in our hometown now. Bye guys. And we end the Twitch stream, and we drive to this like deserted like warehouse something to take a picture in front of it mm -hmm. and as soon as we get there i'm like guys take a picture of me so fast so <laughs> take it so fast take it so fast and i pose it from this wall and then i really what? start do you not remember this i don't remember this at all okay well this is like very vivid to me okay was, like, i literally don't remember Chris. this whatsoever no and wait it's where so do we take the picture it's okay. The picture is me with like blonde hair and bubble braids and a blue sweater with a green undershirt and white pants. Do you remember was that? Was it in I'm front like, of like a wall randomly? Yeah, and, I, and I was wearing a holiday hoodie or something. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so we both had bubble braids? Probably. Anyways, but it's just funny because like leading up to that, there's a Twitch stream that people watch and you can like kind of see that I'm like acting weird. And then we we get there and I'm like, guys, take my picture so fast, please, <laughs> please, please. And the pictures actually turn out fire and we take okay. them so fast and I really run and start bawling and like gagging next to our car because I'm like, I literally feel like I'm oh, dying. Yeah. I remember you crouching next to the car and like freaking out. Yeah. I just suddenly started freaking out and like my face is like covered in tears because i just got hit with this feeling of like i am dying like, i don't know what and it's because of my period and i was like how does that happen because my period is normally so chill like i probably have the easiest period in the world and then really yeah i i actually do and it's like lit. you don't even take advil never <gasps> literally never i'm so and jealous. so that's why i was like what is happening and so i'm like freaking out and then we go home and i have to like i'm like bedridden all day and i can't even move and then the next day, you get your period, and you throw up, and, like, you start yeah. having the same weird like, reaction. I remember sitting on my bed and being like, whoa, this is the worst period pain I've ever had in my whole life. So it was just weird. Like, why? I don't know what happened. And then I think the following month, it happened again, and we are both like, what the hell is going on? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, two months in a row. This yeah, is too much. Because like, I feel like throwing up is, like, not a thing you do often, like, ever. Yeah, yeah never often. And we, oh, my God. I feel like every time I've thrown up in the past, like, five years, you've also thrown up. So yeah. then we're both like, what the hell is going on? So weird. And it's not even because we're, like, sick or, like, just have, like, the stomach flu and, like, it's normal. Like, it's because we have, like, a crazy period or because I'm on the opposite side of the country, but somehow you also get the same, like, throwing upness. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It is weird. Yep. We're just interlinked like that. Yeah. But we're just it's so crazy. I feel so like my cutesy. period is always actually really bad. I'm not going to lie. Like, if I even feel the onset of a cramp, I'm like, I need to start taking the Advil immediately to prepare myself for, like, the next day. And then I have to consistently take Advil, which I don't like to do because I feel like that, like, thins your stomach lining or whatever. But Ew. I literally, like, cannot get through a period without, like, taking Advil or, like, I don't – and even if I do, I'm still in immense pain usually – and that's just my life. And it's like a quarter of my life. So That's actually so annoying that it's a yeah. quarter of your life. I hate that like statistic or yeah. like just knowing that it's a quarter of your life. It's so crazy. Well, I guess it's not actually a quarter because like it's not just for that. Like, a, But maybe for like it could be for a long time though, like 40 yeah. years or something. I don't know. Oh, my God. But, oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot that periods don't last your whole life. Yeah. I'm crazy. I'm like <laughs> – <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a crazy life where a quarter of it is my period. Yeah. Or I'm actually just an idiot. Yeah. I'm just you kidding. You have it for like 40, 50 years, maybe. And then it could be, then there's 10 years that you were completely on your period, pretty much. <sighs> That's so annoying. Oh, imagine 10 years of your life on your period. What the hell? Yeah. Been there, what? done that. Just been there, <laughs> done that. Um, That's crazy. But for like, I am very, I think I have a high tolerance with period pain. I know I just said I'm taking my Advil like crazy, but yeah. I actually think I have a really high tolerance. Like the amount of, I wish that a man could feel how painful it is. Yeah. Like the pain is actually, it's out of this world, guys. Um, 
and it the Advil makes it doable, but it still hurts really fucking bad. You know what's crazy is that I always think that too. I'm like, I wish a guy could just feel the level of pain that we feel. Yeah. And I feel like we did an experiment recently that showed Kelly's pain tolerance versus ours, that which was crazy. We did those like pore strips on your nose, like the classic, like you put on the thing and you rip it off and it gets rid of your pores. Yeah. And we both did it and it's like normal. Like you just peel it off. Kelly does it and he starts like crying like tears are streaming down his face yeah. he's like oh my god it hurts so bad <laughs> and i'm like what well, maybe he has more like hair on his face or something you know okay i hope so because i was like literally what is the like how did that suddenly hurt you so much worse than us like but i do think boys have like less of a t- pain tolerance honestly that was just shocking because i was like is this a moment where like we're measuring our pain like completely because we did the same exact face mask yeah. Anyway, he probably does have more facial hair. I should give him more credit. I'm sorry, <laughs> Kelly. And I'm sorry because right now you're sitting in Ashley's room, probably like curled dying. up in a ball, dying. But praying for you, bro. No, I do think because even like, you know, when you try to braid a guy's hair or something and then and you're, you're like, like oh. complain, they're like, oh, my scalp. I'm like, literally shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That's crazy. But, no, I don't know if that's like, maybe it's just because they're not used to it, though. I don't know. I feel like the pain, what could a pain of a period be? The same as maybe like getting kicked in the balls or like, like a period. And then I think giving birth is like, oh my God, it's not like chartable in terms of men it, experiences. I think like medically it's actually like not chartable. I feel like they tried to measure it and it's like so like breaks every like really? measurement. Maybe I just came up with that in my head. That's yeah. just how I would imagine <laughs> it. I'm like, I'm actually just making up Just facts. like make up some stats yeah. for like the vibes. Wow. I don't know. I remember there's a fact that this actually is so unrelated to everything, but I saw a statistic that said a vagina okay. can, li- <laughs> <laughs> can, can lift 23 pounds just by like flexing it. Like, like that's kegels? How, like that's like the strength of like squeezing your vagina is 23 <laughs> pounds worth of like lifting Yo, strength. Yo, that's lit. Isn't that crazy? So you could hold like a 23 pound Kegel? I think it's vagina? not like a... <laughs> I don't know that, Wait, but I, I think Could it you was hold like, a Kegel it or is like, a Kegel like a verb? I think it was like Never 23 mind. pounds of like push force or like something like, <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. I have okay, no idea. The push force of a vagina is 23 miles per hour. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 it's crazy. Queef force. Oh my God. Also, that's funny because for some reason we took the Staten Island ferry today to get a view of New York. And for some reason, my phone measured that it went 18 miles per hour. <laughs> Can you imagine that a vagina moves <laughs> faster than the Staten Island Ferry? The it's ferry so, was kind of slow. It's so slow. Oh my god, that's so funny though. What yeah. the hell? Oh my gosh. But also talking about uh, boyfriend, pain tolerance, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, going back to the twin telepathy, we are also so telepathied with our boyfriend choices. Yeah, it's we insane. somehow ended up with the same exact boyfriend. Not really, <laughs> but like... On paper, we're both dating Kelly. <laughs> no, no, on paper though, like we have like our boyfriends are way too similar. Yeah, in really weird ways. Both from the West Coast, first of all. Yeah, mine's from Oregon. Yours is from the Bay Area, the Bay Area, California, and they're also like partially Japanese. Mm-hmm. Kelly's half. Pono is like a quarter, a quarter or something. Like I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, Pono's a mix of things, but they're both Japanese. And Japanese Hapa White, Hapa White, white and Japanese crazy boys. Mm-hmm. Also, the really weird part is their dads. Like, that's, like, the weird, like, they have the same dad where they're both <laughs> dentists. Mm-hmm. They're both, were they both in the Navy? No, Kelly's grandpa was in the Navy. Mm, no. Actually, I don't know. I remember. Well, I just know that they worked on a military base. Yeah. So, it's, like, they have, like, dentist military, like, fathers in their family. Yeah. And also, uh, Kelly's dad is named Mike. And Pono's dad is named Mark, which is the name of Mike's brother. Yeah, so it's like almost the same name. So weird. They're both like Asian dentist dads or Asian dentist dads. I don't know. And it's just crazy. Like, why are they both having dentist dads? Also, both Pono and Kelly. Oh my gosh, almost. I almost I thought his dad was an orthodontist. Oh, Pono's dad is an orthodontist. So that is a little bit of a flex there. Sorry. But my boyfriend's dad's an orthodontist <laughs> and yours is just a dentist. So No, but Sorry. No, he's a he's really specialized dentist. Oh, I'm sure. Trust me, he does so many uh, you wish. I don't know. They both play basketball. Oh yeah. They're both like they have kind of like the same stature and like kind of appearance, like 
just like generally hop a male playing basketball with a dentist dad. I don't know. It's weird. Weird. And when we found out that all of that stuff about the dads, we were just like, what the hell? Like, it doesn't yeah, even like, make what? sense. Because how many Asian dentists are there? Probably we, a lot. I think there's just two and it's both of their dads. Oh, that's all I have to say. Life's a movie, bro. Bro, you know what's crazy is I'll be on the phone with Pono, my boyfriend, mm-hmm. and I'll be <laughs> talking to him. I don't know what has happened to me in the past like year where my brain just like does not work anymore. I think but it's TikTok. It is TikTok. It's like so obviously TikTok. But yesterday I called Pono and four different times in the call I went, oh wait, also, have you ever... Oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> I'm like halfway to the sentence. And after I said the, literally the beginning of the question, I go, wait, I have no idea what I was thinking. I'm like, wait, did you see the, oh, what was I going to say? And it's I'd be like, always crazy because you... you start the sentence with like the most like energy. Clear. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I know exactly what I'm about to ask. And then halfway through, I'm like, I literally have no <laughs> idea what I was talking about. And I did it four times. And he was like, are you okay? Like, it was actually weird. And I was, like, so scared, genuinely. I was like, I'm forgetting everything. Like, that's mm. actually horrifying. Maybe you should take some, like, vitamins for your brain. Vitamin B. Maybe. I should read a book. Some lion's mane mushroom. Maybe I should take a uh, big... DN? <laughs> What's DN? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? How did you fall for a D's nuts joke? I've never heard DN. <laughs> Bro, how you did just you just do that to me? these nut jokes on live television. Bro, what Amber, the how do you not know DN? <laughs> Nobody says DN. Yes, like, Amber, they used to always like, I remember. What? The reason why I remember DN so vividly is because Andrew was Twitch streaming. <laughs> Wait, did he get DN'd or something? And he fell for and it? And then someone's like, Andrew, Andrew, you gotta fix your DN. And he's like getting so confused. He's like, Guys, what's DN? And then everyone's like, D's nuts, D's nuts, D's nuts. And he got, like, he didn't even laugh. He got, like, mad, and it was so funny. What the? Was it, like, kind of recent? Like, no, it was, like, when, in, like, 2020, when we were doing COVID streams, pretty much. And he got upset. That's so He was, like, (laughs) he always be, like, getting upset at stuff like that, you know? He's, like, so ashamed that he got DN'd. Oh my god, that's crazy. I think he kept getting these nuts jokes, and then he like really thought it was over, and then he got hit with <laughs> a <guess>. DN. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Also, Amber and I are the queen of these nuts jokes. We are. The we queens. actually have a repertoire of amazing these nuts jokes. Yeah. Okay, wait. Not to change the subject, but have you heard of the new underwear brand called Choke? Like Calvin Klein? Or it's just called Choke? No, it's just called Choke. I have not heard of that. Choke undies? Choke undies? You haven't heard of choke undies? No. Choke undies nuts? <laughs> That's crazy. Gotcha. gotcha. Got you guys. Bro, I have to give credit to choke Pono undies for that nuts one. Is a, That's like, wow. That one How I've you never, that? you would never hear ever. So Pono's yeah. mind is crazy for coming up with that. And Pono's actually crazy. Yeah, yeah. He came up with that by himself. I remember the moment he did it. He was sitting on the couch like, just staring straight forward, not talking for like five minutes straight. He's just thinking about it. And then he got it. up and was like, have you heard of the new underwear brand called Choke? And I was like, what? <laughs> he like literally yeah. bolted up to say it. He's crazy. He also came up with your one TikTok. TikTok idea that blew up. Yeah, that literally has like two or three million views, I feel like. Yeah. The and P.F. Chang's one, it says, my pronouns are P.F. Chang's. And it was Pono's idea because we were in the like LAX airport about mm-hmm. to go to Japan together. And at that point, the TikTok audio that was... My pronouns are USA was blowing up. Mm-hmm. And Pono walked past PF Changs and goes, My pronouns are PF Changs. And then we just totally filmed it and Ashley gets millions of views for it. And it Thanks, was Pono. Pono's joke. It's so funny. Yeah, and we added the horse nay. Yeah. And PF Changs like noticed it and they were like, Oh my god, we, we love this. It? Yeah. It was so funny. It was good. He's okay. a star. I'm a star. That's from that one movie. Pearl. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever watch that? Nor I didn't. The other day, Kelly was complaining because he had just watched a really bad movie. And he's like, I need something to cleanse my palate. I need a really good, like, thriller movie. Wait, what movie was it? He watched Spree, which is the movie with Joe Keery, who plays oh. Steve in Stranger Things. So he was like, oh, my God, the actor that looks like me is in this movie. I need to watch it. Yeah. And it's, like, not a good movie. So he finished watching it and was like, what yeah. the fuck? I just wasted two hours watching that. I need a good thriller movie to pick me back up. And I was like, Kelly, I have just the movie 
And for some reason, I recommended this like really slow paced English like 70s. In, it's filmed in the 70s in like Ireland or something. And it's like this horror movie that's called The Wicker Man. The Wicker Man. Okay, I will stand by it and say it's like one of my favorite movies of all time. But I think Kelly was looking for like Godzilla. Yeah, and he I, wants a blockbuster. Kelly loves like a high energy like boom 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 movie mm-hmm. and i was like no we're gonna watch this movie where you sit there for two hours and then the last 10 minutes is when stuff happens and it's like such an old movie it looks old it sounds old and we sat there for two it hours like weird vibe like, it's just like literally some so of the weird. scenes are so weird and you're just like <laughs> yeah i forgot there was actually like really it's weird like, stuff i feel like midsummer is based yeah. off of it to it some is, extent just yeah. to give you guys like an understanding if you watch midsummer it's the vibes weird horror ish movie like kind cult of vibes cult vibes but i love the movie and then i just felt bad because i made kelly <laughs> spend two more hours and he was like <laughs> he literally like did <laughs> like, not say a we word we had just watched spree and then we stayed up late to like try to fix that by, by watching, watching the movie? wicker man and he always laughs at like that he like watched two bad movies <laughs> one day and i literally i kind of recommended both to him because he was like he asked you told because you're like with spree and you're like yeah yeah he asked me if he should watch spree and i was like absolutely <laughs> and then he was like i hated it and i was like then watch this other one and it was like <laughs> so bad bro we should drag kelly Loved out of your room Curie, but yeah spree was like it's just like a it's you can kind of tell it's a lower budget movie yeah. that was the main thing mm-hmm. but anyways I think that tonight we should drag Kelly out of your room, plop him here on this couch, and put on, like, the worst rated movie of all time. Yeah. And be like, I should know put you're on Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> no! That's funny, bro. That was a funny yeah. movie. But imagine if we're just like, Kelly, I know you're throwing up, but I know just what will fix it. Let's put on Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Well, I was joking to him that we would put on Adventure Time. Oh my God, let's do yeah. it. Also, I don't think Kelly's watched the new Hunger Games movie yet. Mm-mm. When are we going to do that? literally i don't know i think it might be on streaming now yeah whenever it's streaming we'll watch it (sighs) my favorite movie of all time amber is obsessed with the hunger games obsessed i had a PETA fan page on tumblr when i was no you didn't no you didn't i did i never knew this wait this is so new to me i keep like posting when i but i didn't know you had a fan page okay i wouldn't really say it was a fan page it was just my tumblr and then you just repost PETA a lot all i did was post PETA. okay understandable and also dylan o'brien but PETA was my main my main guy anyways great uh, taste yeah what can i say amazing book characters literally okay guys runner dylan o'brien and Josh Hutcherson are a different breed of white boy. I know everybody's talking about white boy of the month this, white boy of the month that. And who's the guy that's in uh, the Wallflower movie? Oh, Logan Lerman. He's also good. Yeah. I will say my top four, Josh Hutcherson is number one, Dylan O'Brien number two. I have to say Miles Teller is number three. Okay, Miles Teller Whiplash. is good. He's so good. Yeah. And then number four, I would say Logan Lerman. Really? Number four, Logan Lerman? What do you mean? Logan Lerman hatred, bro what i'm just joking <laughs> obviously i can't put him any higher Do yeah you see who's in the top three spots what about <sighs> harry potter <laughs> harry potter oh that's crazy no speaking of harry though i wonder i feel like kind of embarrassingly harry styles would also maybe be kind of towards the top of my list not anymore i don't really like him as much recently are we just talking about fangirling for white God, boys for white boy of the months oh white boy of the months Harry Styles and Timothy Chalamet are probably the really? next in line. So awkward. I would maybe... Oh, I love Timothy Chalamet. Hmm. I've never had like... I feel like I've never really been a fan of a specific Oh, you're crazy. Character. That's crazy. You guys, you're crazy. I feel like Ashley... <laughs> no, you ever meet people where they're like... Yeah, I don't really listen to music. That's me. I feel like that's like kind of you. And then also you saying, I've never been a fan of anything. It's like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I've never like, there's not like really someone like particularly that I've been a fan of. Like, I feel like a lot of people have people that they're fans of. Kelly loves Steph Curry and Justin Bieber. You love Peter Malark. Peter Malark. But I don't really have anybody that I specifically like like that. That's crazy. I feel like you did... I'm, well, everyone likes Frank Ocean, but that was probably your one where you were always like saying Frank Ocean. Like Frank Ocean. But I don't like know anything about his life or watch interviews or anything. I just yeah. I liked his music. I get obsessive with my fan things. Maybe not as much as some people, but like 
I feel like I am pretty high up there. My TikTok likes are crazy. Sometimes I want to learn how to make fan edits on After Effects. Because yeah. sometimes I'll hear a certain song and be like, God that damn. That would be so good. That would be so good in a fan edit. And I wish I knew oh how to edit fan edits. Bro, fan edits run my TikTok for you I page. I love fan edits. They're so good. To all our fan editors out there, you guys are doing the Lord's work. No, literally, they're so... I love when they're like... It's yeah, just like the, the movement the is so good. I don't oh. even know how you do that, but keep doing it, guys. Mm-hmm. Wait, I want to hear more about your celebrity crush list. I feel like I could talk about this for a full hour on another podcast. Maybe we should have another podcast. White Boy of the it. Month podcast. No, but they don't have to be white boys. That's true. That's true. Because why my do they all one? like? Why do all the book characters though are like all white boys though? I don't know. What is up with that? So it's kind of just like happens to be white boy of the month. Yeah, it's like it's all what what are you even picking from? Right? It's like if if there were other things to pick from, I would. But yeah. it's just ugh. I mean, I'm not complaining. I Name think- a, a Asian male actor that's our, like our age. I literally don't like, know. Like I literally couldn't. There's oh my god, there's the one guy from what's the the sh- bad show with Cole Sprouse. Who's that guy? The Asian guy in it. What? There's an Asian guy in that bad show. Oh, oh, Charles Riverdale. Melton? Yeah, 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 Or whatever? He's apparently half Korean. Half Korean? Yeah, isn't that crazy? He doesn't really look like Korean, I but I did not is. know that. Yeah. He won an award recently or something, or he was doing some interview, and the question was like, can Charles Melton speak Korean? And he was like, nah. And like, fully no. spoke Korean, but he, I think his Korean was like a little bit like off. Okay, but, but he like, like could still speak better it. than us. Like, right? that's crazy. I was like, what the hell? You pulling out the Korean? Wow, that's feels crazy. bad. Feels bad. Let's get on it. Let's do a full goal for this year. Do a full podcast in Korean. No, Francie. Ugh. Fuck it, you poop. Yeah, we. Oui. That is way already. more realistic. But also, uh, no thanks. Sorry to the French listeners. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, well, I feel like we've covered a lot of ground today. Yeah, absolutely. We could possibly wrap it up pretty soon. If we yeah. want to do our little outro things, we have our uh, thing we loved about ourselves this week and our favorite things of the week who wants to go first me you go my favorite thing about myself this week is that um i'm surprisingly way better at socializing than i thought i was because we got invited to hang out with some friends and i was like Ugh, i'm about to be so awkward and then i go and hang out i'm like oh, wait i'm actually killing it and this yeah. is awesome i think it really depends on the people you hang out with too they That's gotta real. put in their work to not make things awkward too and yeah. i think luckily we we're just with people that were nice and not awkward exactly yeah so i feel like i yeah, I'm just happy that, like, I realized that hanging out with people is so fun, and I should not be so nervous to do it's it. It's so good to hang out with people. I'm like, well, we are really hanging out right now. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Oh, and then my favorite things of the week. I will say um, my favorite song recently, I love the Smashing Pumpkins because I'm crazy and I'm so weird. But my favorite <laughs> song right now is called The Boy by Smashing Pumpkins, and it's so good. Old it's song like, or new song? It's kind of, I think it's old. like from like the early 2000s, but it sounds so good. Well, you gotta listen. I've never heard it, I don't think. I'll play it for you, bro. The shape of this disgusting hojicha on the table is in the shape of a penis. Oh. Because there's two rings from the cup that make the balls. Stop. And then I actually <laughs> shimmer. Smeared- do you know my like actual least, do you wanna know my least favorite thing in the entire planet? What? Is like when people draw penises. <laughs> Like, I am not kidding. That makes me, like, lose my mind. Like, I <laughs> detest that. Like, I don't really hate anything, but I hate that. I'm like, I just hate a drawing of it. I hate it so much. I think it looks so bad. I hate people that draw them because I just am like, why would you draw that? Like, I just literally yeah. hate it. That's kind of true. The drawings of them have a really weird look. Like, I just literally hate it. That's funny, Like, bro. never, ever show me a drawing of that, ever. <laughs> That's so funny. Bro, I have an idea for our new merch. Stop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, I just came up with a merch design right now, actually. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, crazy. And then uh, my favorite thing <laughs> is uh, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We just actually discovered shopping at Trader Joe's. We just discovered? Yeah. We have went, like, the past three days in a row every single day. Yeah, because we're cooking at home now. Which I never thought I would be the person to be like, I need to cook at home. Because I always, always, always have always cooked at home in the past. Oh, okay. I was like, what? I didn't know where you are going with that. Oh. I thought you were going to say, like, I always eat out. And I was like, huh? 
I do eat out more than I want to, though. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like it's kind of so New York vibes. Here. It's so easy here. There's so many good foods here. I, like, I just... And I also love going to a restaurant like i that's yeah. like my favorite activity ever which is so funny because we didn't grow up going to restaurants ever and yeah. then we literally went home sometime and we went to the cheesecake factory with our parents and it felt like the biggest outing that we've ever done as a family yeah but, and i'm like that's so funny yeah but uh well, every time we say that we never went out to dinner mom always is like yes we did go out to dinner okay, you yes, just don't did. remember it and yes, i think we, we did. did like we would go to like outback steakhouse and we would like go get Chinese food and, like, all their things, like, all the time. But, like, Cheesecake Factory was, like, on a different level. Like, that we was never, like, like, that was our first time going to the Cheesecake Factory as a family. Yeah. You know? And it was fire. And it was fire. Guys, did you know the Basque Cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory is fire? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, you have to get it. With the berry sauce, what the hell? So good. Well, that's pretty awesome. I'm loving everything. Life is awesome. I think it's, like, midnight now. Yeah. I'm dead. Let's immediately go to bed. Let's do that. Thank you guys so much for listening. You guys are so epic and we love you so much. I hope that you're having an amazing day. And don't forget to to keep keep it a stack. And like, subscribe, and... Share with your friends. Share with your family. Copy the link. Send it to 10 people in your contact list or else. Or you're going to get haunted by Amber and I. Yep. So, we're so spooky. Or you're going to be in your dream. (laughs) But maybe you want that, so I don't know. I don't know. Up to you. We'll see you guys next week. Beautiful we've twins. Si- oh, God. Beautiful, Beautiful twin, twin sisters, sisters out. Oh, oh, my. Beautiful twin sisters. Sisters.